Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here with another Affinity episode. We're returning to an old series. Not an old series, but instead of throwing another new series at you today, we're doing an older series. Uh, so yeah, I've been doing quite a bit of work on the base. Uh, as you know, the Affinity guys and I have had a live stream uh, this past weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, where we had raised some money for Child's Play Charity. And during that live stream, I was doing some work on my base uh, just to kind of fill some time and stuff. So I wanted to bring you guys in and show you kind of what I had done. So we come down here. This entrance is completely done. I made some, like, cathedral ceilings. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. And then under these uh, carpets is some pumpkins just to kind of put some light in and then all through here is going to be grass once it decides it wants to keep growing uh... and then in here we kind of got the room split off again more pumpkins underneath the carpet uh... but that just kind of goes around blocks off everything has everything lit up nice i don't know what i'm going to put in the middles here yet i'm still trying to, to decide that and then over here is our storage as you've seen i did finish it off with chests and everything um, and then over here is the farms, and I can't remember if I showed you guys this last time or not, but that's a, a wheat farm, or not a wheat farm, a sugarcane farm, and then over here is a cactus farm. So they're both doing alright. And then I want to take my blue wool, put some of this down. Every so often I run over to the affinity farm and get some wools. And then over here I did a mine. So we come down, got some patterns in the wall and stuff, and then we come down here. It's not that far, but this is going to be our mine shaft, and I'm going to keep this pattern going. And that's what I've done there. How much... Do we need any black? No, no black. And I know we'll need green. We'll grab some of the green. And hopefully this will be the last part of the green. Give me that back. There we go. That's the last part of the green. Looks like the red's done, so we just need some more blue. So if I come down here, this should be our carpets. This should be our wools. Put all that in there. It's all nice and sorted. I'm actually going to take that and that. Put that over there. put down the rest of the blue wool that we have. Looks like my helmet's about to break. It's not the greatest helmet. I just did a little enchanting and got some tools. So um, I'm no longer using a sword. I'm using an axe actually with unbreaking 3, sharpness 5, and efficiency 4. It's just kind of nice to have one tool that does everything. Um, the only thing I do miss on it is actually uh, the looting aspect so I might still get me a sword to do looting and stuff I'll put this enchanted book down here um, but besides that I mean that that's all I've really done around here I think we'll head over and I'll show you guys the new um, donators hall or charity live stream monument or whatever you want to call it over in the end so we'll head out and do that uh, while we do that I want to plant some trees outside my base so let me grab some trees and then we'll head on up alright alright so I grabbed some trees now as we walk up here I need some ideas for this because I wanted it to be like a cave um, but it's kinda hard to get out just because you gotta constantly jump and jump and jump so I was thinking about just putting some cobblestone slabs down. What do you guys think about that? You think the cobblestone slabs would work out nice? I kind of think they would. That would be my preference. Or maybe some stone slabs. Or maybe wood. You know, that way it looks a little more unnatural. Um, or it looks like, you know, someone came through and, like, blocked up the stone, you know, and so it made a stair. But we're going to plant a few trees before we head off this way. I'm probably going to fill this bottom layer in. But we can always use more wood. Uh, 
because it does look a little unnatural around here without any trees. So I want to get that all set up. I might even bring some spruce over if I can find some. But I think the entrance does look pretty sweet. Uh, just because it looks like an actual cave entrance almost. It looks like, you know, a, a mound that went down into a mining well or something. And it's pretty cool. I, I like it a lot, actually. It's one of my f more favorite bases that I've ever built. Is that little, that little tunnel thing right there. You can almost see it from there. Uh, we also need to finish the path to spawn, so it's a little easier to get over here and back. And that'll take some time. I'm going to take this coal, just because I've been having a hard time getting coal. Been using all of it to smelt smooth stone and stuff, so. Um, our, our stone supplies have been depleted heavily. Uh, we donated a bunch of stone to uh, T, who has been working on his Parthenon build. And I helped him out during one of his live streams by passing him all kinds of stone and stuff. And he hooked me up with a couple diamonds. So that was cool. So now... Um, one thing that I do want to do is hook up some sort of shop around here. Um, everyone else has kind of got something going on, you know, as far as like a shop or something. And I'd like to make something of my own. I thought about doing um, some enchanted books. And during the last episode, we seen that Old was doing an enchantment store. And that's a little different from what I was doing, or uh, what I had planned. But we see here we have Old's Enchanted Bookshop, which it's not really an enchanted bookshop. It's more of a enchantment shop. Simply ask for one or more enchantment books, and I, Old, will negotiate the cheapest prices and fulfill your order. Thanks for choosing Old's Enchantment Shop. For every three books bought, and one diamond off. Frequent book pricing. Breaking five. Efficiency four. So he's just doing straight up books. Um, I thought he was going to do more like special enchants on items. But who knows. Maybe I'll just do an all around enchanted store. So I might have some books already pre-made. Looks like his is made to order. Um, and I, I don't know. I was kind of thinking about that. I already have a, a decent supply up. Oh, those are going to run out. Okay. So where is... Where are you? Over here. So we'll run down here. We'll head to the end. But yeah, I definitely think that uh, an enchanted bookstore would be really cool. I like enchanting, especially when the new uh, version or the server gets updated to the new version. Um, I love the new enchanting system. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. Very easy to get certain books. Uh, well, not very easy, but it's definitely easier to get books you want and to get more books uh, just with the amount of stuff you can get. So. Uh, I don't know if you guys have messed with it too much, but I have been fortunate enough to mess with it on Hypermine, and it's 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 very good. I like it a lot. So this was the uh, this is the donators hall from the original uh, live stream that happened last year. That I was not a part of Affinity at the time, but I was hanging out in the stream. We come through here, and it's the Affinity Hall of Donators. And this first part has got all the people who donated on these like this yeah see I think they've changed some of them up and continued the room over to there we did have them on front and back but and then anybody that donated over like ten dollars or fifteen dollars got their face recreated and you can see my beautiful face right over here it's been a year and I still have not changed my skin as you can see I'm kind of proud of that. I like my skin. I think it's very cool. I always mess up and hit a wrong button. Um, and then there's the torch that we used. It's the Affinity Torch. You can actually see the Affinity Torch right down there. 
and this is a book of all the donators and stuff so they continued this on and it comes through right back to here we have again faces faces and more faces for people that had donated over uh, I think this year it was $10 that guy donated a hundred dollars voodoo beard holy moly congratulations Ruby Sone, 29 36 did I not get my face recreated this year the affinity members not get that is that a thing you guys you know just cutting me out is you trying to tell me something am I being shafted let's see reserved for affinity live stream number three and I guarantee I guarantee the sign was posted by Joe the pirate he always does that smiley face with one eye because he's a pirate so this year we had affinity torch number two and we have another torch so yeah that was a really cool live stream if you guys missed it um, I apologize but there's there was some funny stuff uh, check out some of the other affinity guys channels and you can catch some snippets here and there I didn't actually record anything uh, from the live stream I don't know why I didn't but I didn't um, you will find I'm not gonna tell you who recorded it and I'm not gonna tell you a link or anything of where the videos at but you will find me singing I'm a little teapot on camera in IRL I don't want to go down here why did I go down here I don't need to enchant anything so yeah if you guys want to see Drax do I'm a little teapot IRL you better go check out the other affinity guys stuff it's it's definitely funny so well guys um, I know this was short and sweet but I wanted to do a, just a little update video of affinity and kinda you know knock something out for you guys next episode uh, we're gonna strictly work on the base we're gonna work on the pathway back to spawn and I, if you guys have any ideas for what I can do for that I would greatly appreciate it because I'm kinda kind of running dry on ideas for that so if you guys wouldn't mind I would appreciate it and guys I will see you next time